so sorry that I... I didn't... Oh, my... It's okay. No, no, no. No, 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 no don't, 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 don't try to pick it up. You're going to cut yourself. It's okay. Relax. It's just a beaker. What's going on with you? Why are you so stressed out? Cole. To repeat, Wes Granger, a former Navy SEAL, was found dead from a stab wound at the Angel Square Hotel. His roommate, Marty Saybrook, has been brought in for questioning. I'm sorry, I gotta go. What? Nice knowing you. I ran into my ex-boyfriend Cole at the diner. I don't know, it's just sad. We used to be able to talk about anything and now it's like there are these landmines in between us and every time we start to have a good conversation, all of a sudden, boom, it just stops. And he gives me this death stare, but it's not really like he's looking at me. Oh, I know what you mean. <sighs> it's so annoying. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm dumping all over you, aren't I? No. No, that's not what you're doing. You're talking about something we all go through, losing somebody you care about. It's not like he's dead. Still hurts. You love him. You had his child. I mean, now you guys aren't communicating. You're not together anymore. That's one of the most hopeless, loneliest feelings a human being can have. Mom. Thank God. You got the TV safe. I was afraid that you'd been hurt. I, I don't know what I'd do if I lost you again. So, are, are you okay? Fine. Okay, what happened? Why, why are you here? Please, want to question your mom. Go on. I haven't filed any charges, and she hasn't been accused of anything. Okay, well, how long is this going to take? Because she's not the strongest person right now. Well, why don't we get started, all right? Why don't you take Marty and uh, Mr. Cody here into my interrogation? Wait, wait, then you're going to interrogate her? It's fine. It's fine. They're just doing their job, okay? And, and you don't need to be here. You should go back to school. I, I, I don't... You don't need to be here. Yes, I do need to be here. You're my mom, and I love you, okay? When I, uh... When I lost my mom... Especially the, the way that it happened, you know, that's... I don't know, I don't think you ever get over something like that. I think about my baby every day. Yeah. But when a relationship ends, and you see that person again, <laughs> oh, that's its own special brand of agony. Yeah. Yeah, it is. It's like every... Every time I see Cole, my heart skips a beat, and I get really excited, and I think... Okay, maybe, maybe today he's going to look me in the eyes. But, like, really look me in the eyes like he used to. And then he doesn't, and he looks away, and I get this really tight feeling in my chest, and <laughs> I just want to run away, yeah, you know? I mean, you can't move, and your heart stops, and you realize that it's really over. Yeah, that's it. So, look, if you don't mind me asking... What went wrong with you and the person that you cared about? I'm so glad you're here. It means so much to me. After everything that's happened. None of that's your fault, all right? And you're going to get better, and I'm going to make sure nothing else happens to you, okay? Marty, then come with me. We can get started. Why are you questioning my mom? She didn't do anything. No, she didn't. We should not be talking about my love life because I'm your teacher. I don't mean to be nosy. I was just... I was wondering if it had anything to do with your drug problem.